In today's episode, you will learn how to make an RC jet plane using the SU27 model ready-made template, 2600 kV brushless DC motor, and the Flysky FSI6 transmitter and receiver. The reason I made this RC jet plane is to improve my piloting skills as I badly crashed my previous two RC planes. In my last video tutorial, I explained the calculations and designing of this twins motor RC plane which flew very well but during the lift turn, I messed up everything as I pushed the control stick all the way to the lift. At this point, I realized no matter which RC plane I design and make, I will crash it. So this is the reason I decided to start with the ready-made template to save time so that I can quickly improve my piloting skills before I design and make other RC planes. If you are good at flying RC planes then you can watch my previous video in which I explained how to calculate each and every part of the RC plane. So if you want to design and make your own RC plane then you should definitely watch this video. I will provide a link in the description. Anyhow, as usual, my first attempt ended up in a crash. This was 100% my mistake. The nose part was a little damaged which I fixed. Anyhow, I corrected myself and kept reminding myself not to repeat the same mistake again and again. And finally, I learned how to fly an RC jet plane. There are some important things that I will explain later in this video which I believe as a beginner you should know and if you follow my words then you will be able to fly almost any type of RC plane. First we will start with building the RC plane and then we will do the thrust testing and then some tips to not crash your RC plane. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in the making of this RC jet plane can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The building part is quite simple as it's a ready-made template so sit back and enjoy the music.
our RC jet plane is ready, I skip the parts which I have already explained in my previous videos, like for example, connecting the ailerons and elevators and how to set up the FlySky FS ISX transmitter and receiver. I will provide links in the description. When you are done with the making, the first step is the selection of the brushless motor. Your brushless motor thrust should be approximately double the weight of your RC plane if you want the speed. I selected the Skywalker 2600 kV brushless motor which produces over 1000 grams of thrust. The propeller I'm using is the 8045 which is the polar type. So I used it upside down to make it pusher propeller which is not that efficient but I don't have the pusher type propeller so I will continue with this prop. If you are planning to build the one I highly recommend purchasing the pusher type propeller. One more thing that you should take care of is if your prop is moving in a clockwise direction then the nut cap should tie it in the opposite way. Otherwise the prop will come off during the flight which is not good. The same thing applies if the prop is rotating in the counterclockwise direction. All your control surfaces should work perfectly as you move the control stick up and down and left and right. You should also be able to control the brushless DC motor as you move the throttle stick. So everything is working perfectly and now I am ready for the next step. Prior to the flight test, you should carefully set the center of gravity, which I have already explained in my previous videos. The next most important test is to check if the brushless motor is producing enough thrust to lift the RC plane up in the air. So after doing all the initial tests, finally I was ready for the first flight test. The first flight test was a complete fail as I crashed it, but luckily only the nose part was damaged, which I fixed. I learned something from this crash, never use full throttle in the beginning and as you move the RC plane to the left or right, also move the control stick a little in the downward direction to lift the airplane up in the air. This way if the RC plane even roll you will get enough time to control the RC plane. For the successful flight first take the RC plane to some height then play with the control stick. Keeping it near to the ground can result in a crash if you are a beginner. If your RC plane is up in the air then you won't get nervous and you can make your RC plane do things which you want. Last and most important tip is when your RC plane gets out of control lower the throttle and leave the control stick and give some time to your RC plane to get stable. Once your RC plane is stable then again you can increase the speed. For good flight experience don't use full throttle at all times. From time to time reduce the throttle. This way you can also check the gliding performance of your RC plane. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching. Ha, ha, ha.